Well, I uh, oversaw the film office um, under the Glenn Denning administration. That was sort of pre-incentives. It was a very different time uh, back then. Uh, I also served as the head of the film office for Baltimore City under Mayor O'Malley. But just to give you a little bit of perspective, um, back in the day, uh, really filmmakers chose their locations based on the location, uh, based on um, uh, the, the crew, uh, the availability of good crew, uh, you know, having a great film office that worked with them. Uh, it really didn't have anything to do with incentives. The incentives start creeping in uh, with Canada. Canada sort of started it. And then Louisiana was the first state that jumped on board and began offering incentives. And that really changed things dramatically uh, for the state of Maryland. So on Baltimore, had Baltimore roots. But frankly, you know, there were a lot of people that didn't like The Wire. They didn't like the way it portrayed the city. Um, and so you know, one of the comments that I made along the line was, you know what, it doesn't necessarily show all the beautiful aspects of Baltimore City and some of the surrounding areas, but it is an urban story, and this could be Detroit, Chicago, etc. And they could pick up and go to Philadelphia and shoot the show in Philadelphia and still call it Baltimore. So we've lost the economic impact and we've lost the jobs for our crew. So that doesn't make any sense. Uh, but there were, you know, a number of folks that really did not like The Wire. Um, it, it's a dark story, uh, but it was renowned, award-winning, uh, and so we had that relationship with them for, for several years, four seasons, five seasons. Um, I think that having the incentives for television series is something that I've always been a big supporter of because you do have that continuity for people that are in the business. I mean, they know they have employment for an extended period of time, whereas a feature, and I love features, don't get me wrong, but they do tend to be, you know, five or six weeks of filming as opposed to three and four months of filming. So, you know, just to give you an example, uh, Veep, which is HBO uh, uh, series that's filming in uh, Baltimore and around Maryland, uh, their first season generated about $30 million in economic impact. There were over a thousand uh, vendors, small bit, a lot of them small businesses that were used and created over 950 jobs for cast, crew, and extras. And that's, so that's just one, you know, one example. Uh, it's a, a departmental bill, actually, and um, it's a bill that's sponsored by Senator Case Meyer and supported by the governor, the leadership of the House and the Senate, leadership of both of the House and uh, budget House and Senate budget committees, we have a tremendous amount of support for this for this industry. But it's $25 million uh, in tax credits for FY 2014, uh, 7.5 for fiscal years 15 and uh, 16. The reason it's such a large number for 14 is we had commitments. We actually committed FY 14 tax credits in advance in order to get House of Cards. So those tax incentives include commitments that we have made uh, to retain House of Cards for a second season. I think it's 13 episodes, one hour episodes. I mean, the economic impact and the job creation of that show alone is extraordinary. And then season uh, three for Veep. So we had to sort of front load that. Um, and um, then there's also about two and a half million dollars in addition to that that will be available for other smaller independent films. We've had this industry in the state of Maryland. Um, you know, I've said to lawmakers, if, if we were in Idaho and never had a film industry, would I suggest we start getting into the film industry? Pro probably not, because I understand the competition. But because we have some of the best cast and crew and infrastructure in the country, because we've been working on it since, you know, John Waters and The Wire and Homicide, we've had a very, very long history. And so we have a reputation for having great crew here and great infrastructure. So I, we don't want to lose that. And, but if we don't want to lose it, we have to invest in it.